here with Anthony Michael Hall. On World War G. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, to start off, let, just, let me tell you, Breakfast, The Breakfast Club, one of my all-time favorite movies Thank you, ever. It's awesome. Thanks. Um, now, you've you've been working for a while, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is, there, is there one particular role or one particular job that you did that you're like, yeah, that one was the one. They really felt like I nailed that one. You know what? It's interesting. I've heard this actress named Patricia Clark, some of this older actress. She's in her 50s, and she's a great actor. But she said something so interesting, and I was talking to my lady about it. Yeah. She said, the thing about art is, like, all of us as artists are never really ever going to be satisfied. And so that's part of it. You know, even though I have all these great experiences that work different times in my life, I love them all for different reasons. You know, the Dead Zone was an incredible experience. You know, working on The Dark Knight, even with a small role, to be in a Batman movie like the Swiss here. here. Um, you know, but also the John Hughes experience. I mean, without John Hughes, I wouldn't be here. Right? So I think you kind of, just like when you listen to music, it marks a certain time in your life. So for me, all these different roles and, and jobs I've done over the years have meant so much to me for different reasons, for different times in my life. So it's hard to pick one, you know? But at the same time, I think that that hunger we have as artists will always kind of be there. We're always going to be striving. Like, that's what, you know, God gives us talents, is to put them out there and, and to, at the same time, maintain that hunger to keep creating. Yeah. So that's how I look at it. All right. That was a long answer. It was, mm-hmm. but that's all right. Um, awesome. Speaking of The Dark Knight, yeah. I had a, a, a small part in that. Yeah. I was just wondering, what was your take on the fate of your character in that? What do you think uh, happened to him? Yeah, well, you know, it's funny because I get kidnapped, right? And yeah. And then he blows up that hospital. I'll tell you, that was fun in itself, just watching that explosion that day. I think it's he's kind of saved at the end of the film, yeah. you know, by Batman there. He kind of blasted That's right, he was. Yeah. But that was a great experience, you know, to work with Chris Nolan and all those great actors. Uh, Heath was totally cool. He was a great guy. And we all miss him. He was such a great talent. Yeah. And Chris Nolan, too. You know, there was a lot of negative publicity about those guys. And that's, it was all unnecessary, yeah. you know. That's just, uh, just kind of the way the media is sometimes, unfortunately. But that was a great experience, yeah. too. And I was just gassed. I was so excited to be a part of it. I got to go to London and Chicago and had a great time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there anything you're working on right now that you'd like to point people to? Sure. Forward? I just was up at Sundance. I had a film coming out in the summer through Magnolia Pictures, and I have a nice role in it. It's with Guy Pierce and Cody Smulders from How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, sure. And it's a rom-com kind, of, and it's called Results, and it's an Andrew Bajowski film. So that's going to be out in the summer. And then I got Foxcatcher in the theaters now. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Steve Carell and Mark Ruffalo and Channing Tatum. Those guys are awesome. Oscar and, nominated? Yeah, I got five nominations, so I hope we at least get some tickets to the damn show. Yeah. <laughs> let's hope, right? Yeah, exactly, let's hope. But I had a great experience on that. And Bennett Miller, I see him as one of the great directors alive. You know, we I worked with Chris Nolan. I've had the pleasure of working with Tim Burton. And Bennett is, like, right up there with all those guys. Yeah. He did Moneyball and Capote. And I think it's a great film. It's a very dark film, but it's a very powerful film. And those guys couldn't have been nicer. I had such a great experience getting to work with them. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you.